Well, Alex, I can tell you this. Speaking to the adoptive parents was incredibly telling as for the first time since the kids went missing. They're telling us exactly what happened from their perspective. Now, it's also important to mention that the community here, a lot of neighbors told me that the parents have been virtually absent from all search efforts, raising a lot of concern out here in California City. But the adoptive parents told me that's because they've been busy with the police investigation and that police told them that they don't need to be out there searching because there's already an uh, adequate amount of people doing so. I came to the house, I saw them there, I went in the house, I came back out, I didn't see him now. Trezell West details the moment his two adopted boys, three-year-old Orson and four-year-old Orin, went missing Monday night from their California city home. Moments before, West says he was gathering wood to start a fire. I opened up the back gate, I'm throwing wood, bringing it inside the house. My wife's inside. She was actually wrapping gifts, so we thought it was a good idea that they got our youngest to go outside and play with chalk on the, the back patio. Shortly after, Wes says he no longer saw the boys on the patio. He asked his wife, Jacqueline, if she saw them. She said no. That's when he says panic set in. I realized that I left the gate open and I panicked, came inside the house, searched the house, me and my wife. Once that hadn't pan out, I got in the van I looked down the street in both directions. It was getting dark, getting cold. Wes said he then called the police within minutes. Since then, California City Police, the FBI, and the Kern County Sheriff's Office have been investigating. Police searched the couple's home Tuesday night, then interviewed the couple at police headquarters. Meantime, multiple search efforts were launched, which continued Wednesday, including with the help of the boy's biological mother, Ryan Dean. She says she's worked hard to get her life on track and wanted to get custody of her boy's back eventually but now she thinks that will never happen and is blaming the adoptive parents they did something I feel like they did something and they know something they did something and I feel my kids is somewhere around here I can feel it and I feel like they're in the house and I feel like they did something Trizelle and Jacqueline say they understand the frustration he thinks you guys did something and that's understandable. What's your, what's your response to that? That's understandable. I would think the same thing. Yep. I mean, that's exactly the point. And if we can find our, find our babies, then guess what? That's, that's no. And that's all I want is to find our babies. That's it. Some residents and family members of the boys would also get involved during the interview. Y'all was supposed to take care of my nephew. But the West are standing firm as the search efforts continue. We're going through it. It's difficult. I, I mean, everybody's making their own, you know, their own conclusions. They don't know anything. We don't, we're not sure, exa like everything, we're not sure. We, we said what we knew. And now back out here live, I should say that the tension in this community is just raising by the minute. Right now, it seems like there's some kind of makeshift memorial candles and uh, balloons here on the east side of me as if something they know has already happened to these kids. Now, I should also mention that the California City Police and various agencies were back out here on the scene again today, and their focus was uh, their focus was on that backyard area where the parents said that's where, you know, their kids kids were last seen. Uh, some of the witnesses out here, some of the neighbors told me that a couple hours after our interview with the parents, they saw them leave with authorities again. We reached out to the California City Police Department. We asked them, hey, has there been any arrest made? Have the parents been detained? They said they could not confirm that. We're live in California City by Ann Wang, 23ABC, connecting you.